Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new little device that I received from Milli Group. It is the PC G01. It is a mini PC. So in this video we will be doing a quick unboxing and on top of that we will review it. Plus this is a Windows 8.1 little dongle. We will be updating it to Windows 10. So it's all going to be covered in our one video. So let's just get into it. You can see that the box is nicely designed going all the way around. Once you open it the components that are part of this is the Milli PC G01 Plus. It comes with a little power adapter that is universal so you can connect it anywhere in the world. On top of that it comes with a little user guide and comes with a little HDMI coupler. Both sides are female. Alright so let's just get to the dongle itself. So you can see from one side that it have a little part for USB 2.0. It's just one USB 2.0 connection. Beside that you do have the DC connection which is 5 volt. Going on the top you do have a little power button. Going to the front you see that is HDMI 1.4. Going on the other side of it you do have another micro USB connection. So there is a little adapter so you can make it into another USB 2.0 port. There is a TF card which is a mini SD card slot so you can connect and get extended memory and on top of that you do have a little part for Wi-Fi antenna. Now that Wi-Fi antenna is only going 180 degrees please don't break it. It is very delicate. Again this is a really nice little device. You can see on the top that has little lines on it. It is between aluminum and plastic. This will not heat that much. So before I get to it let me just go into a little bit of aspect. So this dongle itself is Intel quad core 1.83 gigahertz the GPU on this is Intel HD graphics. The storage inside of it is 32 gigabyte and also the memory on this is 2 gigabyte of DDR3L. Alright so let's just make sure that we can connect this and get something on the TV. So once you turn it on at first it will go through Intel logo and at the bottom of it you have a little roller that just goes around. Once it's loaded you do have to set it up. Remember it's a first time setup so yes it will take up to 10 minutes for it to set up. Now while you're going through that remember that now Windows 10 came out so it will give you a prompt that if you want to update and we tried that. It didn't go through so we have to log back in to Windows 8.1 and through that we went back into updates and we clicked on it and it took good another day it did not update. So we tried to update the Windows 8 first so that way it will accept the Windows 10 upgrade. We went through it again and since the internal memory on this is 32 gigabyte and with all these updates the memory fell down to almost 9 gigabyte of free space. We needed around 12 gigabyte to do this update. So in order to process that we used a little mini SD card hook it up and we went through another update and this time it kicked in and it slowly start going through the update. Alright so making this video you can see that it is just going to get updated right now and then we will go into Windows 10. Now going to Windows 10 it's a very user friendly Windows. It has its own security patches so that way there's a lot of things that now Microsoft going to have access to. With this dongle we will be just using it for daily uses and we can do our basic stuff such as if you want to use this Windows for your Word, Excel and your office products this is perfect. Again the dongle itself is created in a way so it doesn't heat up that much except that the Wi-Fi range of this is really really good. You can see right now Windows 10 it looks really nice from the left hand side in the bottom you do have the little start button when you click on it it gives you all the tiles on the right hand side of it and the regular menu is on the left hand side. You can see here that it has some shortcuts these are more used apps to the world basically. It brought it up for us and yes notepad is one of the ones that I use a lot to put some notes going down. You do have some little options so that way you can close the total computer. You can turn it off. You have full apps at the bottom so that we can scroll down and all of your apps are there so you can play it just like before. Also you have a turn off button so you can click that way you can hibernate it or you can totally shut off the unit itself also have the settings so that we can go into settings to set up your screensaver or you want to change the background or you even want to delete some apps out of your computer. And then going on the top part of it you do have the little picture. This is how now you can just log out. Just click on your picture. Use a little menu so you can log out or lock the computer or even switch between users. The links where you can order this from in official website and to get more information will be available at the bottom of this video. So I hope you guys like 
like our video if you do like it click the click the like button subscribe button on the top comment in the bottom always remember to visit our own website which is exitx.info like us on facebook follow us on twitter vine instagram and other social networking places and thank you